Good morning children. Welcome to today's virtual session of 9th standard history. Let us begin today's session with a quote. Children, you don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great. All the great human beings of the world were once ordinary. They started as an ordinary human being and with their hard work they achieved great heights in life. So you can start your journey anytime. So children, you don't have to be great to start but you have to start to be great. Today, I would like to introduce the topic in history, uh, Changing Life, Part 1. In this topic, you will come to know about the different changes related to the institution of family, social welfare, uh, for the changes in the uh, reservation for the reservation of scheduled caste and tribes, public health, important events in medical field, about urbanization, rural development, rural electrification, and also the industrial development and education. So, children. In this topic, mainly we will come to know about the different changes related to the different fields. So far, we have studied the period from the year 1961 to 2000. Achha, children, you should open your textbook. You should open page number 47 of your textbook and listen to me carefully. The speed of change in the 20th and the 21st centuries has been tremendous. Human life is changing rapidly. Things which we could not have even imagined earlier are now a part of reality. In ancient and medieval periods, religion was an important part of a person's identity. Now, modernization has posed some challenges before all religions, be it Hinduism, Islam, Christianity, Sikhism, Jainism, Buddhism, Jurastrianism, or Judaism. Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar brought about a sea change in our traditional mindset. He brought it about through the medium of the Indian constitution. According to our constitution, all Indians are equal before the law and they cannot be discriminated against on the basis of religion, race, caste, gen gender, or place of birth. All citizens have the right to freedom of speech and expression, freedom to assemble peacefully without arms, freedom to form associ associations, freedom to move to live and settle down anywhere on Indian territory and to practice any occupation. Indian citizens living anywhere in India enjoy the right to nurture their language, script and culture. These provisions in the constitution shook the foundations of the caste system it helped to make the practice of vocations running in the family obsolete. Change became the trend in field 
in every field of life and thus began a series of minor and major changes in the society now anyone can go into a restaurant irrespective of his religion race caste or gender in fact we see boards outside the restaurants welcoming all another very significant change during the post independence period is the right to express opinions against the government earlier there were limits on expressing any opinion against political rulers now indian citizens can register their protest against the policies of the government through newspapers speeches or other media so children here you have come to know that the human life is changing rapidly in the 21st century religion played an important part in person's identity during ancient and medieval periods a change in a traditional mindset was brought about by dr baba saheb ambedkar through india's constitution children the constitution prohibits discrimination on the basis of religion race caste gender and place of birth it treats all people equal before law the citizens have been given freedom of speech and expression peaceful assembly to form association freedom to practice any occupation freedom to move and settle down in any one part of india except jammu and kashmir the provision of the constitution have shaken the foundation of the caste system and made the practice of family occupations obsolete children the changes came about in the everyday life of the people people can go to restaurants without any discrimination right to express views enables people to express opinion against government and register their protest in the newspapers and the other media now children i i am going to discuss about the institution of family during the pre independence period the institution of the family was an important identifying feature of indian society india was known all over the world as the country of joint families however the wave of globalization has now given an impetus to the system of nuclear families so children here you have come to know that the institution of family was an important feature of indian society india was known all over the world for joint families and the wave of globalization had placed traditional joint family system by nuclear family system now children i am going to discuss about social welfare the objective to establish the welfare state has been incorporated in the constitution itself india is the first country in the world to do so the social welfare programs aim to make opportunities for full time employment 
health care, education and development available to all Indian citizens. Indian society is riddled with large-scale economic, social, educational and cultural inequalities. However, it is necessary that opportunities for development reach women, children and the differently abled and the scheduled caste and tribes as well as other minorities. This was the greatest challenge facing the government during the post-independence period. That is why on 14th June 1964, the Government of India constituted the Ministry of Social Welfare. Under this ministry, various programs are implemented for nutrition and child development, social security and social protection, women's welfare and development. A similar arrangement exists at the state level too. So children, the objective to establish a welfare state has been incorporated in the constitution. The social programs aim to make available employment, health care, education and overall development of all citizens. Several social welfare programs have been launched for women, children, differently abled, scheduled caste and scheduled tribes. Ministry of Social Welfare was established on 14th June 1964 to implement various welfare programs. A similar arrangement has been made in the states as well. Under this ministry, various programs were implemented for nutrition, child development, social security and women's welfare.